Nope. So, last week, um, you continued your fleeing from um, uh, Gavriel. No, not Gavriel. Uh, my name as he summoned a giant snake. Uh, you flew on the airship towards Stratton as the giant snake followed you, and Adorant Force revived what seemed to be the last time as you fought him on the airship. And as you defeated him, the snake backed off. There was a bit of bombardment from the city and at the city from the snake. Um, after getting hit and firing off his retaliation, he opened up a portal and disappeared for it. You guys headed to Stretton to talk with the people there and hand off Adoramp's body to show you he did the job. However, when you got there, there was a very angry Clarissa who demanded that you work off the trouble you've caused them by going to um, the crystal caverns that are in the neutral lands to bring them a crystal golem. Um, did some shopping after Dale was set to prison. After Bad Mouth and Clarissa, uh, you sold Adorant's rape, um, scimitar, got a of stuff, and you decided since it was on the way and Dale had been battering on about it for a while, you were going to head to Erlenborn to sort out his dragon problems. And we stopped the session just as you got to Erlenborn and started to do some investigation, as well as some more selling of things. So, we'll carry on from there. I think Dale was at the docks. We have more things to sell? Jeez. Dale? Yeah? You were at the docks. Pretty sure we left it with you just at the docks, so... Do you yeah, I was at the docks and everybody else was uh, still doing shopping and shit. Pretty sure everyone's finished with their shopping. Uh, I was waiting. I was still waiting on everyone else. Okay. Don't know what else we would need. <laughs> Pretty sure everyone's ready. Oh, wait. Uh, I will go back to the weapon shop really quick to check on something. <laughs> okay. What is the price of an animated plus two, well not plus two, an, just an animated heavy shield? Um, let's see if they have that first. Uh, you said you wanted a heavy steel shield that's animated. Or wooden, whichever one's cheaper. They have neither. The only animated shield they have... ...is a tower shield. Then I'll pass. Alright.
Well, this is getting off to a raring start. People just sitting around. <laughs> well, Dale had his thing to do. I spent the entire day trying to learn up on some stuff about, like, the lady who runs the place. And... Uh, yeah, you got all the information last session. Yeah, exactly. Somewhere. Let's just say the whole party meets up at the end of the day to discuss things, because apparently nobody has plans. Alright. Dale, did you figure your stuff out? Apparently Dale only talks to sailors. Yeah. Arr, matey, did you find anything in the ocean? More like a ferret. <laughs> that right. Yeah. Big people are talking to you. <laughs> Sorry. What was that again? Uh, all I found out about this town was that the leader is very mysterious. Ah, you I think I already knew that. But uh, do, you, do you figure out anything about your dragonborn stuff? Dragon heritage. Let's go for not yet. No leads, nothing? We're getting them. Okay. Do you want to stay here for another day, or...? Sure. Anyway. Did... What? You didn't exactly what's, talk to what's the sailors. status? You, you just went up there. You just went back. You already gathered information when you got here. And you gotta say what it is for before you roll with it. You still don't tell me what that gathered information is. Big <laughs> Samurai, tell me what you want. Uh, well, as St Stu said, looking for uh, any leads to what I was looking for. Yes, the docks. You're meant to talk to people at the docks. Then I'll speak with the people at the docks. Okay. Like before, there's a load of boats everywhere. People are going in and out, transporting crates. There's three ships that are currently docked that don't exactly bar you entrance if you want to go on one of them. Mm. I'll ask well, one of the ship captains if they're allowing a ride out into the ocean. Whereabouts you wanted to go? Mm. Probably some odds into the ocean, somewhere just off the coast. And I'll tell him that I'm going fishing. Now this isn't exactly a fishing boat. Uh... And you don't exactly look like a fisher. Maybe I'll uh, just want to get into it. Maybe find another last time. Uh, well, this ship's a bit big for just your your fishing needs. You probably want one of the smaller ones down there, other side of the docks. Right, thanks for the information, sir. And I'll walk over to the smaller ships. Alright, you go to small ships which only look like they can fit about five people on it comfortably. There's me. There's. Hold on, let me count.
Well, there's five of us. Perfect. Wait, I need to include the captain of the boat as well. That's six of us. We'll make it work. <laughs> hey. You gotta talk to the, the shipmaster of this boat. Not today. <laughs> Dale, you're just staring at a boat. People think you're crazy. Okay then, so Dale just freezes in place. What's the rest of the party doing as they meet up somewhere else? Uh, Fargo, how's your friend holding up? I think he got stuck with us longer than he anticipated. Oh, is am I holding up? <laughs> or he's cur <laughs> No, you're with them now, Jack. Also, you've left Morgamar in the airship since you never reset. You're taking him with you. This isn't where I want to be. Come on. <laughs> I need to go like two days that away. The amount of time you've spent doing other things, he probably would have had a shorter try to get to working on his own. He would have wouldn't be allowed past the border. Mm -hmm. Well, how's everybody else feeling about sticking around here for another day? I mean, I don't know. If Dale doesn't show that he's getting anywhere, he hasn't really given me anything to go off of to try and track any leads. I don't really mind helping him out, but hasn't, he hasn't really told us anything. So, no. I'm not sure how we're able to help him. I know. Oh, that's what I'm thinking. I, I, I mean, do we do we want to stick around here for another day, or do we want to? All right then. <laughs> Everybody's in a non-talkative mood as always. <laughs> well, we got a golem to get for a capital city. Uh, we've got basic any any and or all of us uh, to get instated as leaders of Sababurn. The leaders of Sababurn, if anybody wants on that. And talking to the Dragon Council, seeing what happened. Uh, I don't know, those all are things that are across the border. I am very interested in doing all those things, including fighting a crystal golem. It sounds terrifying and fun. Challenging, Eric would say with a smile. And a strange concept of fun. Oh, what? You have a strange concept of fun. Well, I'm just hoping that 
since it's a golem, it's not going to die and then come back and then die and come back like some organic evil we've fought very recently. Great test of metal. I like it. Although now that I think on it, do crystal golems have any? <laughs> Just as a casual reference uh, to Derek's self, would he know if there's any sort of crystal golems of any sort of direct connection to deities? Uh, let's have a look see. Basically, he's just trying to make a joke as to whether or not he'd be worried about crystal golems summoning up giant snake monsters. No, no, they don't. They can't just eat that. Okay. For one, they can't speak. Yeah, there you go. They can't make incantations, so we don't have to worry about giant snake deities trying to crush our ship. Or the little girl's ship. Also, I don't know if anybody else remembered this, but we only paid for stabling of our horses for like two weeks. I think I think if anybody had horses, we might not have horses anymore. <laughs> I, for one, only use horses for transportation, and we have the ship, so... Oh, same here, so I'm not too worried about it, but... Just saying, if anybody was worried about it. <laughs> he's, he's not like his brother. His brother had, like, five different animal companions. Most of them died. Oh my god. Over and over and over. It wasn't my fault, it was like, uh... Well, most of the time it wasn't my fault. It was like how... Remar always wanted to be a, the one to get attacked, but then once they realized he had really powerful armor, nobody attacked him. And everybody noticed that I was good on a horse, so they were like, kill the horse, and he's... an elf. So, has Dale come up with any more plans of the ships? Uh, yeah, I'll tell the, uh, boat captain that, uh, of my plan. And which, possibly... Which, which boat? I'm actually gonna go back to the larger boat and tell him okay. my actual plan. And say, uh, yeah, I actually lied. Sorry about that. And what is your plan? plan is to go into the ocean around, I believe, I think this would be a gulf. And just possibly look for something. Prepare for a dragon. Again, as you say, dragon. Uh, one second, need to get the name. Ah, so you're one of those soulful fellas. You want to meet up with Draenerys. Ooh, so you know. We, it's very rare we get dragon kin over here to look for Draenerys, but it happens. However, since you want to use my ship to meet with her, it will cost you more than the average toll. Much. Uh, well... It'd be a thousand gold. If you have any friends joining, it's fifty gold for each of them. It's been plenty of time when uh, people did not agree with Daenerys and needed new ship parts.
So Falcor, this is uh, Aquis, Kirik, that's four people, 1,200 1, gold. Yeah, sure, I'll pay that. Well, uh, it's a bit late to be setting off now. We'll be setting off in the morning because we have some. Uh... Well, we're heading in that direction anyway. I suggest you come at door. Sorry, can you repeat that? A loud noise just ringed in my ear. We're going that way anyway, so you'll have to come in door when we get our other passengers. All right. I'll meet you up in the morning then. Well, that's a great waste of two crits there, Stu. Alright, well, I needed to know. <laughs> like, I, I had my uh, spell caster level was way down, so I wasn't getting as much. I wanted to make sure everything was working. Is Dale gonna go meet up with the party? Yeah, I am. I'm gonna tell him. Uh, so, we got, I got his boat now. Oh, we. Boat? To where? Well, I just needed to mention Dragon, and the chatm already knew what to do. No sweat, man. Very nice. Alright, uh, when do we leave? Tomorrow morning. Sounds good, so we can get a good night's rest beforehand. Yes. Like it. How does everybody feel about sailing? Oh god, how cold is it out here? Now that I think about it. Rather cold since it's on the uh the beach side. Oh hey, uh mechanically speaking, does my red dragon gale mail protect me from that cold damage since it's gotta resist cold and fire of ten? Yes, but you're still rather cold. Oh yeah, definitely. All right, always shivering. Teeth chattering. <laughs> get some carrots. I can help you with that when I level up. I get to share my adaptation, which is into your elements. Just turns on the aura, and it's just like turn on the heater. <laughs> Not an aura, starts. really. No, you just start vibrating and heat waves on you. <laughs> People just put, start putting their hands up to you. It's just been this way since I was a kid. It's just... It's like a cold in the bones when I get out in this weather. Alright, so you all... Taking a night in the inn, or are you going to go in the airship? Gonna uh, sleep in the airship. Yeah, I guess airship makes sense. Airship. All right, everyone returns to the airship for a night in the sky. Oh, by the way, we're ranking up at 0300, everybody. Yeah, if you do that, people aren't going to really be rested. <laughs> okay. Yay, we'll go to day 335, as dawn. Okay, Carrick will set out his little timepiece and start his daily workout.
I will head out to the docks first thing in the morning. Uh, I suppose today I don't really have to cast Swift Ready. I'll wait for Karak to finish up and head out with him. sailing because I didn't really like last time I sailed. Personally, but All right. I guess we'll silently power walk <laughs> to, to the Docks. Yeah, you get to the docks and the captain's waiting for the Dragonborn to return. Oh, I've got something for this. Um, get on all to the ship, and I'll move you over. I can find it. There it is. There we go. That's what I've got for that power walk to the docks. <laughs> Fair enough. So, you'll get on the ship, and as you get on it, you notice it's rather large. It can take quite a number of people. Um, there is a captain's quarters. That is, you can tell that's locked. There are three deckhands, as well as the captain, who is currently steering the boat, as well as a grate that goes down into the lower decks and a trap door that leads to the staircase that also goes down there. Um, I think you should be able to see the bottom. Um, if you want to go into the bottom deck I can move you down into there. Um, and as you go on you do notice there's quite a few elfkin getting on the ship and going into the lower decks. I think they have the right idea. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna go down there. Okay, the character always goes below deck because fall down. I thought you were getting seasick. No, he just doesn't enjoy the. Everyone just stands around, I assume. Oh, I'm I'm not chumming up with these elves and orcish orcs. <laughs> I mean, besides any person who's gone below deck. Oh, gotcha. I can see you're moving about down there. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye out for giant serpents or something. Alright. I'll just go for shock. Sure. Okay, what's Achilles gonna do? Well, the party's split up. <laughs> okay. You go down below deck and you see the Ufkin, as well as Carrick. <laughs> I 
anyone got uh, cards or pieces for? I don't know what what are. What's the name of a local gambling game that I would know of? Maybe favored by elves or orcs. Well, they're not exactly allowed to have fun. I wouldn't have any local knowledge of just games that they would... I mean, maybe they're... Maybe they aren't interested or can't play, but... Roll local if you want. Ooh. Oh, what's that martial arts called? That, uh, like a dance form. Slaves invented it so that they could do some sort of fight stuff. I can't remember what it's called. I thought you were talking about water dancing then, but I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna tell you in a second. Um, well, you would know that. The most card game they would play would be Lucky Beard. Lucky Talking Beard. about Capoeira? Capoeira, that's it, yep. <laughs> Anyone up for a game of Lucky Beard? Some of the elves will come over and <clears throat> accept your challenge of Lucky Beard. And they say they'll take it to the table. Excellent. And the two folks already sitting now are wanting to join as well, so they will. Perfect. I'm gonna take this time to kind of basically bleed coins, just lose the games on purpose, since I assume it's pretty low stakes. Uh, and use it to gather information about just what everyone's story is at the table. <clears throat> How they came to be here, what they're doing. Uh, to you it's low stake because each person only has a gold in coffers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty low stakes. <laughs> Or, I don't know, would that be gather information or diplomacy? That'd be diplomacy. Okay. Is Achilles just gonna watch? You're not getting in on this high stakes poker game. <laughs> it's also a woman playing, you know. But men. What's the two people up to, up top doing, Balgor and Dale? Just looking out and about. The same yeah. thing. All right, um, Balgor, do you have your cloak set to anything at the moment? Uh, that skills. Uh. Right. Mind. Yeah, mind. Okay. Okay, Carrick, if you talk to these people, the Elfkin will tell you that they're currently heading towards Terska, whereas the two other people, who are one human and a dwarf, are shipping off on a different boat. Uh, over towards Kersey. Apparently they're doing trade up there. Whereas the Elfkin are looking for a sanctuary. Gotcha. Uh, had they, have either of them ever been there? Have either of you ever been to, ah, oh, damn, what's that Elf, what's the Elfkin place called? 
Terska. Terska? Terska? Uh, have either of you ever been to Terska? I've only heard stories of the Elven Nation. I've never actually been to their lands. These are the only elf lands, like, in the world, right? In the elf area. Oh, okay. But elves don't really hold land. Right, so I mean, like, is this the only nation, like, elven nation? In the world, or is it ju just it's for the It's the biggest one you know of. Okay. Um, but the orc will tell you that both of the two people playing um, haven't been there. Since they're going there for Sanctuary, they ran away from their masters. Oh. Was that in the human lands then, or did, or did uh, you run away while the, all the chaos was happening in the dragon camp? Spoken lands. Okay. Oh, wow. Long trip. So people don't really ask questions here for passage. It comes to voyages out to Tursk. Uh, or no, did you guys have to if pay we a bit the of money? People don't normally tend to bother us. Uh, With war on the rise, we don't know. I thought it best to hide tail it before anything else happened back there. Mar move. Seen plenty of trouble for our kind over on this side. You heading up to Uh, no, I'm here for... to help a dragon... Uh, dragonborn ally of mine. Yeah, is looking to become full-blooded, I think is my understanding of it, but it's very hard, apparently. There's lots of ceremonies involved with their... with their kind. I am unfamiliar with. Uh, my condolences to your friend. Oh, why is that? Well, from the look of you, you have quite enough coin to go around, but uh, from what I heard from the other people in the docks, when uh, when them dragon folk go to see this dragon thing, never quite got the name. Um. Well, you can't exactly use the church's services for him anymore. You can't do the ch the what services? The church services. You know those high, expensive ones. Oh, why? Why is that? Yeah, I don't know the details. I didn't exactly get taught much about dragons and smoking lands. Ah. The church services, do you mean for Sazori or Bahamut? No, uh, just all church, so, uh, yeah. all church services, I'm pretty sure. Wow, shun from the divine no, community, not, that's... Not, not shunned, it's, they can't. It doesn't work. Huh. Well, that's something to ask about. Do you know if anyone on board would have any more information on that subject? Uh, I best say, luck losing guys, another hand. I suppose he would be the person most familiar with all this. Sounds good. Achilles, make a mental note of that. Carrot, uh, <laughs> roll 100. <laughs> ah, my heart! <laughs> that was a straight up heart attack. Go. Oh. oh my god! You beat everyone at Lucky Bait. Really? <laughs> yeah. I was trying to throw the game. Well, apparently you knew the game so badly you just kept playing good hands. Well, uh. Sorry, guys. So you get four gold. Four gold? I've taken all of their... Oh, man. Well, that, that's all the money they were playing with. Oh, okay. I was like... I'd feel terrible. 
but it is in coppers, so you now have 400 copper. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, back up top, nothing really seems to happen. You make your way out of the docks, out of the shallows and into the ocean proper, and the sounds of waves and avian noises are all you can really hear. Is Carrick and Achilles going to move back up top, or...? Uh, yeah, I guess if the party hasn't... Uh, ...done anything, uh... ...kind of... Uh, I am gonna... ...ask for the services of the elf and orc... ...just to let them know that, uh... ...I'm looking to become... I'm also headed to the neutral lands to get instated as a leader of Sababurn in the Dragonkin lands. So just to let the, uh, the elven community out in Terrace just kind of spread the word that they have friends out in uh, Sababurn. And Road in exchange for... Okay. Uh, the idea is to have it in exchange for that to try and give them back some, like, half of their winnings as payment, quote unquote. Don't fail me now, Silver Tongue. Don't have the bonus from Falco, so it's your own Silver No, I don't. <laughs> Alright. They seem uh, accepting of what you have to say. Uh, the, dwarf, the dwarf and the human don't really seem to mind much that you're elfkin. If anything, they're happy just playing games with you. They don't, they don't really make any comments about what you're talking about. Even if you are speaking gotcha. in elven or orcish. Cool. No, well, I guess we can sit up top and go talk to the captain about that. Maybe let Dale know what he might be going. Oh, sorry, hiccuping. Might be going into. Okay, I'll move you back up top. Uh, everyone can roll spot. You'll get the bonus from Balgor's cloak. Oh, what's that? And the aura. What's... Yeah, what's the super bonus from that now? It's plus seven. Total. <laughs> I have no ranks in this, but I'm rolling an eight now. Right now, the uh, the Dragonborn is the lowest. <laughs> okay, you can all plainly see that the um, the captain at the far end of, of the ship is currently calling over one of the deck hands to take over piloting, <clears throat> and he goes into his cabin. Darn. Uh, say, Dale. Yes. I un uncovered a bit of information, uh, well, a rumor about uh, once you go through your meeting with this dragon that you're uh, meeting with, you won't be able to 
enter or gain benefits. You won't be able to worship at temple, apparently, at any temple. It was pretty vague. I was looking to speak to the captain about it, maybe figure out uh, some more about what it was. I was wondering if you wanted to come along and listen in. Since your business. Or if you'd rather I'd stay out of it. But. I'll come along with to see more into it. But if it's just that, it's fine with me. Alright. Uh, Falgor, me and Dale are going to see if we can speak with the captain. I don't know if you want to come along with, or if you just let, otherwise I'm just letting you know where we'll be. Alright. I can wait out here. Okay. Yeah, maybe you should keep an eye on Achilles. I don't know what she might get up to. You're you're a mischievous person. That's that's all I know about you at this point. Well, she says, turning towards the sea. <laughs> yep. No. <laughs> Go up to the captain's cabin alone? Where'd Dale go? He's <laughs> shining his wings, obviously. <laughs> He's just like a big giant dragon cat licking himself at the front of the deck. Yeah. Uh, I'll give a give a knock on the door and announce who I am and request permission to have an audience with the captain. You'll hear the man inside shout, enter. Oh, well, good. Great. I'm trying to drag you in. Stop moving! <laughs> there we go. Okay, so, you enter into the captain's quarters, which is rather modest, and he's currently laying out what seems to be something familiar to um, Bibby's firearm. Oh, it's a impressive weapon you've got there. Me. Uh, this is, this, this not no. This isn't a weapon. This is to get your nearest to show up. In fact, this is almost a fifth of what uh, your friend there paid. Almost a. F it's a. You have to summon up Veneris, or is this a uh, tribute? Uh, a little from column A, a little from column 2. <laughs> uh, Dale, did you give the captain your name? What? Did you give the captain your name? I gave him the payment. Okay, he'll say, Payment, I need your blood in this phylactery, and he passes you the glass vial. Um, I wanted to ask you about some rumors that I heard, uh, since Dale here is going to be meeting with Veneris. Uh, I was wondering why, Maybe she uh, never got your mess. I heard rumor that if you want, she wouldn't you be can... able to, dragonkin that meet with this dragon, aren't able to, uh, enter temples or worship at uh, any divine temples or shrines. Is this true, or what would be the uh, reasoning for that? As far as I know, I'm not allowed to speak on Dragon Kid business to other people unless your friend there is okay with me telling you. It's kind of personal. Pretty sure he should have told you. I I can leave the room if you'd like, Dale, but uh, 
Well, if it's best to get information, then go ahead. Uh, you mean, don't know why you came to see Jarnaris? Rumors are rumors. I only believe it once it, once I actually know it's true. But for now, let's just get on. Let's just get on with it. Oh, it's not exactly a uh, decision you make lightly. You, you've already paid the gold, but uh, I'll tell you that it's not something you can just say no to later on. Dale, are you familiar with what he's speaking of? Perhaps you might want to be uh, briefed on the situation you'll be walking into. Well, I, it's too late to turn back now. Well, it doesn't mean you have to walk in blindly. It's, it's not too late to turn back, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> you can just say no now, and not meet the dragon. I mean, I haven't fired the, the item yet. <laughs> the thingy. <laughs> yeah, they never really told me what it was. They just said I'll need it since I had the biggest ship. But, uh, this is the last chance you'll have to pretty much say no. I can, I can tell you what I know, but, uh... And what do you know? Well, there's a reason she's called the Soulless. Um... Right now, I'm pretty sure you are soulful, which means... You're not really a dragon yet. And, uh... Well... All dragons only live once. Hmm. Well... Oh, any creature only lives once. No, I mean, you can't come back. Uh. Ah, so there is no rebirth of through the clerics of Sizori or of any clerics. No, no, you give your soul over to the dragon world. Goodness. And once you die, it goes there. And, well, clerics can't access there, so they can't pull you back. Not even Those dragons types. that are clerics themselves? Nope. It's the price you gotta pay for being dragon. You know, despite the high risk of that, that actually sounds... Rather noble essence. So it is a proper transformation, then. Yeah, uh, I don't normally see it. Apparently, it takes a while to fully happen, but meet with Daenerys, she takes a part of your soul, and then in some time, you become dragon. Oh. I'll take the risk. Alright, just feel the phylactery of your blood. I need it to summon her. Now that I fully understand how noble a cause this is, eh? I'm all... I'm fully on board with this. Uh, right, also, out of Captain character. <laughs> hey, you gotta go all in. <laughs> um, the captain will take the phylactery and place it into the, the gun object that he doesn't even know what it is himself. 
And All Stu right. just takes the elevator out of the captain's quarters. I'm stepping away from the computer. <laughs> All right. Uh, the captain will lead you to out of his quarters, and he says he's going to shoot it at the front of the ship. So, that would be where Dale needs to be, and if he wants his friends there to tell him to go near there. I'll tell everyone, I'll tell everyone to meet up at the ship, front of the ship then. I'll assume Carrot joins up. Uh, yes. Gillies, are you forming up? Are you forming up with the others? Alright, so move your character. <laughs> God damn it, Achilles, get your shit together. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Alright, the captain holds the gun object into the sky, presses the trigger, and everyone rolls to spot. I refuse. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Stu, do you want me to roll it? Please. <laughs> I like how I waste my crit on your spot. Thank you very much. Um, okay, you can all plainly see that when he pulls the trigger, um, the blood all goes to the end of the gun object, and a rune appears, and it shoots a sort of bell into the sky. It goes off a far distance from the ship, and you all see it form into a dragon head symbol in the sky. It slowly dissipates, and the captain walks off, and it tells that it's up to Dale now. He doesn't want any fight more. Amazing. A few minutes go by and you see a ripple in the water. <laughs> as a dragon bursts out from the ocean and lands on the front of the ship. Ah. Another dragon comes. What is your business with I, Draenerys? So you must be the one I'm looking for. That's a weird way to phrase it, but if you're here to see me, what is your desire? To become more like a dragon, and to outgrow my human side. Alright, I'm trying to muffle it. This is a cool moment. Ah, so you offer up your soul. Yes. Um. Uh, what can you roll actually? Actually, you can tell the Draenerys is a. What is it? Draenerys is a black dragon. Which might change Dale's opinion of her. Mm. I'll approach with caution then. Is that it? 
a dragonborn who's fine with chromatic dragons, okay. Well, I'll keep my hand on my greatsword just in case I need to draw it. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Daenerys will hold out her claw and stab it into your chest. And you feel as if something leaves your body as light comes out of the wounds onto her claw. She then retracts her claw and moves back a bit. Thank you for your contribution. The change shall occur within the week. And what will happen then? You shall forget all your human ties and be only dragon. Does help me build a better link with Bahamut then? It helps you bring a better link with all dragons. See. Though I'm not too fond of Bahamut myself. Well, I would see that as well. Is this all you require? More is there? I shall take that as a no. The nurse then starts to flap her wings and flies off into the ocean again. Well, that was unexpected. Who told you to come out here? Priest at the Church of Muhammad. Oh, okay. Well, and he was... Well, I guess if they're okay with it. Who knows? Perhaps maybe she's a convert. Well, she said she wasn't very fond of Muhammad, but... Oh. A priest of Muhammad, you know, sent you this way that you know, this is a bad thing. But despite their evil ties, there always are exceptions. The same can go with Vitalik's. Microphone muted. Well, how do, how do you feel? Actually, that's a good question. How do I feel? You feel a bit Mr. empty Tricks? at the moment. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell Carrick, I don't really feel different. She did say well, she a week. Said... Yeah. I suppose time will tell. <laughs> as as Carrick just ascends to godhood and gets an echo to his voice. Sorry. Uh, hold on. That's the flashback voice. Is the party going to do anything after this has happened? Or are you just going to wait for the ship to turn back? Uh, 
I'll say we turn back then. Wait, so the ship turns back after this? I thought those. I thought all these elves no, were no. headed to. Oh. The ship continues on away in the direction. <clears throat> it then puts down its sails, and the captain will shoot off another magic sign into the sky. And one after another, two more ships will appear, and people will get off onto the different ships. There is a more oh. elegantly designed and more kind of druidic designed ship where the elf can get off and it goes to the um, northeast and then the ship similar to this one uh, the rest of the people on the ship get off and it goes in the direction of the northwest boat then turns around and heads back to Erlenborn It's a very effective way of transporting. As you get back to Erlenborn, nothing really has changed. Still people going about their business. Where's the party off to after this? Wanna head up the neutral lands then? Maybe we can finally drop Falgor's friend off. Yes, yeah, that would be the... And that's the place we need to go. The Dragon Council. Anyways. There's on... Perhaps what had happened. Dobran. Workin's my vote. Workin' then. Workin'. Alright, everyone gets back on the airship and head off to Workin' Ways. Get to here. They will pass. And as you get to Dragon's Crossing, you are flagged down yet again. Are you landing the ship, or are you just going to fly straight over? I think we should land the ship and have Falgor do his stuff. Good. Show a piece of paper. <laughs> Hello. This is what you're looking for. Okay. Land the ship, and there's this familiar sight as before. Bountiful amount of dragonborn guards guarding the area, as well as bodies of what seem to be rebels piled up to the north. And this place gets more dead each time we pass by it. Uh, take a look at that uh, pile of bodies. Just sense of who's clambering at this gate. Give me a holler if you guys need me. Eric, if you, as you move over there, you can see all the Dragonborn up there, for it to be tense at you. Sorry, just wondering who is all Trying to climb over the wall. Are these. Hey, no, we're not Mexican. <laughs> A 
who has the papers? I am. Uh, Microphone activated. All right. Um, what particular are you trying to look for, Carrick? Just looking over the bodies to see what what races they are, what uh, sort of equipment, if they have any equipment left on them. Um, it's mostly Elfkin in here, however you do spot a few humans and something scaly at the very bottom, but it's under all the bodies. And they've been stripped of their equipment? or Yep, they've been stripped. Uh, Falgo, as you approach the gate, the Dragonborn, just to the top of you, <coughs> will call you, well, will wave you over. I'll approach. What's your business at Dragon's Cross? We're looking for a passage towards neutral lands, and we do have a permit. I show him the route of passage. He looks over it. Uh, is that including your ship up there, then? It is. Very well. Go on through. Thank you. Eric. We have a bit to go. Gotcha. Little thing. Real quick. These I wanted to roll. Okay, Carrick, as you start to chant over the bodies, one of the Dragonborn draws his weapon and points it towards you. Hey, Elfkin! No necromancy over here! Hmm? Oh. That's not necromancy. Just saying farewells. Yeah. Further away. Come well, on, let's just get going before more conflict happens. Turn to the airship. And you can see there's no more flagging down happening anymore. Another day will pass. One more day, and you get close enough to work in to get off the ship. All right. We go look for Astaroth then. Sorry, what was that? Do we go look for Astaroth? Characters. That was the. That was the one you said you would save, right? Oh, they filled me in on what had happened. Was he dead when you dragged him out of the or got him out of the city? He was. 
Viviana said he brought him here, but that was many weeks ago. Well, I'll follow you all. The ones who have a established relationship with the Dragon Council. Uh, so what's Mork gonna do? Are we saying our goodbyes to Mork, or...? Well, this is where Mork needs to go, and after so much travel, he's finally got here, so... He would say his farewells, yes. Well, what will you do now? knowing you. Get the fuck out. Um, he'll be travelling by the roads to the northeast towards Koling. Oh, okay. Uh, he'll also your travels. Mark, he'll mark on your map for Falgor if he ever wants to join up again. I will try. When I can. Yeah, buddy, just send a letter. Probably get a wizard to contact this via telepathy. I don't know, whichever one's fucking faster. So always remember, we'll more than likely be in Cyberburn if nothing's really going on. Well, he's not exactly going to be able to cross the border. Struggling to come to well, I'm telling him, then that I in case Vegas. he sends a letter, he'll know where to send it. <laughs> Get the fuck out. Also, do right, please. <laughs> So, Morgamar goes off on his way. Uh, what's the party doing? He's gonna... Uh, maybe we can tell you where she left off Astro. Uh, she put him? Are we good starting point? So what have you learned? People compromise and work together. All parties can win. Uh, she said she handed him off to Varkas, as he was the one with the most power here. Well, Marcus, let's head in that direction Marcus. then. Iron Tarkus. Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. What do I know about Marcus? <laughs> Not all that much. There you go. It's Varkas, not Marcus. Varkas, gotcha. Marcus Phoenix? No. Ah oh, shit, he has a chainsaw on that. Uh, Alright, since you were here last time, you'd know that Workin is mostly a guild city. Uh, that's why the commune's held here, because it's free from all races. Gotcha. And Varkas heads all the other guilds. <clears throat> Alright, well, go see Varkas then. Alright. Uh, you follow Vibby's directions and you make your way to Varkas' estate, though. You wouldn't really call it a state from the designs of other places, it's more just a big building. As you enter, it seems like most guild houses, there's tables, tav um, tavern pieces around so people are drinking, and it's a nice kind of family atmosphere to the guild members. Uh, again, there is a counter at the far end with 
a half elf manning the counter. And Falgor falls over. <laughs> Looking to you, Falgor. It's either going to be Falgor or Dale who talks to the person since they're the only ones that actually know Master Off. Should I roll gather information? If you want to run off into the town for five hours, sure. Do I get any bonuses to that? What, wait, what? It's, Why? It's, wait. It, what? <laughs> gather information takes 1d4 plus one hours to do. I don't know, I mean like... Does the cloak give off bonus a bonus to that? It all skills, but it's not going to make it any faster. We're not doing no oh. information now. There's a yeah, bonus with one person. Yeah. Okay. So who's going to go up and talk? You're just going to stand at the entrance and stare. I'm busy updating our political information. <laughs> Character's writing in his notebook. <laughs> the more we know. I'll step up. Alright. The half elf notices you approach and waves at you. Ah, hello there. What's your business with the guild? We're looking for guild leader Vorkas. Ah, uh, can I ask what it pertains to? Uh, a friend of ours left a certain person in his care. They would like to know how that followed up. Uh, a lot of people are dropped off here for care. You have to be more specific. That would be Astaroth of the Trekan Council. You do seem to fit the description of your friend. Uh... Then hear him loudly stomp on the ground twice. Head through the door on the right, it should be unlocked for you. Thank you. I guess we all head there then? Yeah. As you head to the door on the right, um, you hear a loud click as you assume it unlocks. Uh, going through there, it leads you into a long hallway with some more guild members, though they look a bit more gruff than the ones outside. And there's plenty of other doors and stairways going up and down into the estate. The person is waiting for you as you come through the door. And he's a bit more finely dressed than the other lads, and again he is a half-elf. Ah, you must be the ones that, uh, well, I just plainly said, I can hear through the walls. You here for Astrots? Follow me. I shall. Welcome. He'll lead you up a stairwell to what you can assume to be the second floor. And again, it's a large hallway with some more people going in and out of rooms. And instead of looking gruff, these people are more kept together with nice hair and clothing, which Carrick can idolize with. The man oh, yeah. continues to take you to a larger door and opens it for you and waves you inside. Go inside. Alright, I'll enter. <clears throat> okay. Went into a rather large room. Um... It's probably bigger than what it needs to be, and it's filled with bookshelves, counters, paintings on the wall, trophies, and a large desk with a half-elf man in it. On the desk itself, there is plenty of books stacked high, parchment, candles, as well as a parrot that's in a cage, and you can hear it chirping away. Oh and God. the half-elf waves you lot over to his desk. Can 
approach. Hmm. I take it the whole party is here still. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody got scared off by the parrot in the cage. <laughs> nope. No, I, I can't. I can't do parrots. <laughs> yeah. Parrots can be scary. You all approach the desk, and the man stands up. Out of a car. <laughs> Um, he pushes up or, his glasses worse. and looks over the party. Uh, you're a bit of a more of a ragtag kind of crew than what I was told about. Also, there's only two of you I recognize from the description. Where's the rest of you? Vivi and uh, Ruby are on the bit boat. Everyone else is dead. Straight to the point. I like that. Not going to waste any time here. He walk around the desk and stand in front of you, lock whilst leaning on his desk. So, uh, you were here about that asteroid fellow, wasn't it? Yes. Well, sad to say, I couldn't find anyone in the city who could do anything for him. We had him for about uh, four days, and then some Dragon Council members came round and carted him off. I wasn't exactly going to say no, I didn't want a Dragon kid bounding on my doors. I can't exactly do anything with the body. Probably to yeah. bury him. Do you know where they took him? Uh, they didn't say if they were going to bury him or not. They just said they were here to take the body. Uh, I did put up a tiny bit of a fight, but uh, I just let them take him. It's just a dead body. I couldn't do anything with it. Uh, they did say where they were taking him, but uh, I had people watching. They went north ways. Though they were flying, so they could have gone quite a distance. <laughs> Heard something about uh, the Dragon Council was here, or last scene. Oh, the Dragon Council members. I didn't exactly recognize the woman who came by, but uh, you didn't exactly look human. She's probably in a human form. And you said they they did tell you where they were going, or you had no no they did they did tell us. Ah, but you had said that you sent people to watch them. Yes, I've got to watch everything that comes in and out of here. We uh, spotted a golden dragon fly off to the north. I assumed the woman was the golden dragon. Want to go investigate this then? Well, like I said. They flew. They didn't exactly land anywhere near here. No, I was asking the rest of the party. Well, if you ask that, he can hear you and he's going to suggest Yeah. That. Did you know Sorry. We got a where, they, where they landed? Or just what direction they flew? Well, they went northwards. They de definitely didn't land in tourists. I would have seen them go, well, my men would have seen them go down. They might have gone off the continent. But uh, by looking at your airship, I'm pretty sure I can't go over the ocean, so I might have to find other ways to follow them. The place they go to, though, is Elkin Land. Could possibly be. But there are also enchanted islands around. Could have gone to one of those. Uh, I don't suppose you have any scouts or sailors that you know of that might have been in the area that would be willing to trade information for coin. Well, I've already given you a lot of information about coins, so... Oh yes, I mean, head north, however, I am wondering if you had any friends out there that you would suggest. You feel he's insinuating that he's told you a lot without you paying him, so he's not going to tell you much more.
Is there a... Would, uh... Is there a skill check I could do of some sort to uh, help give me an approximation of what wouldn't be insulting of an amount of money to this man of this, uh... his status? I'm thinking it might be an ability. Let's have a look see what the knowledge is say. Uh, yeah, nobility. Right. <laughs> Since he's a guild master, anything less than a thousand gold would be an insult. Yeah. Even if it is information. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I think I understand your meeting, sir. You've given us a lot of goodwill. I think it's our turn to return the favor. I will look out thousand gold offer that up he'll take the bag For and put it on a scale on his desk he reads something on it though you're not too sure of the mechanism yourself and he nods yep that's about a thousand gold in there <laughs> uh that down, I guess. Uh... If you're wanting to know about the islands, best bet is go to Vera. Vera. Did a thousand uh, hundred. Oh, Vera. Yeah, I was like, hard that. Yes, in Vera, there's normally fishermen folk, but we do have some people there. It's mainly used for. Well, refugees and the like, if they could get to Erdenborn, because that damn dragon's cross. Oh, looks like uh, my people's here. Can then uh, we take a break? Yep, we can. Alright, talk to you guys later. Break four. Disconnected from your channel. <clears throat> Say Jack? I said how long is this break for? Uh, about 20 minutes, depending. Okay, I'm going to go and grab something to eat. I thought you were having your <laughs> roast. I am, but I'm gonna grab something small. Let's be honest, uh, I think in like 20 minutes, I think my roast is gonna be here. So we normally have it around 1. Well, it depends. We normally have it around 1 or half 1, but by that time, fish might be here, so. I should be right back and find out. Alright. Sounds muted. <laughs>